Hey folks, this is Mark with OrientWatchUSA.com and I have here CEVOM001B. Now this is part of Orient's executive series and you can see from the angles on my wrist, it's absolutely stunning, classic. But it's also quite modern too, which is quite a strange combination, I do agree, but nevertheless it does have all those traits. Let me go ahead and show you the function out of this watch and some of the technology, but first, I've got to take it off. You'll see the Orient logo around the buckle. If I press both sides, I can unlock the folded clasp. You'll notice from the side of the band that it does use solid links. A lot of watches don't, so you gotta look out for that, especially at this price range. You'll notice that the band uses a combination of both matte as well as finished metals. Now this is a uh, 50 meter case, so uh, take a look at that case back which uses uh, an Orient stamp as you can see at the back over there. I believe also on the crown there is also a Orient logo on it. Now crowns are usually edged on the side over here just so that it's a little easy to grip on and this, this watch has no exception. Let's take a look at this beautiful mechanical watch and um, like I said, it's mechanical, which means a couple things. The first thing it means is that there's absolutely no batteries in here. There's nothing, uh, the only reason why this is working is because of a spring. And the spring works, uh, the spring holds that energy. Uh, the spring holds the energy, so uh, that's what's really powering your watch, okay? So uh, let's do this. Let me go ahead and show you. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a beautiful pattern on the dial almost seem checkered and it has a lot of texture to it. I think that really gives that real classic edge to it. This 12 over here and the cutout of this um, of the date and day I believe is the reason why it looks modern. So let me show you the, uh, the uh, how to work the watch using the crown. So you have day and date at the bottom with time, very simple. There are two steps on this crown. The first step allows you to change the date. Second step, uh, step allows you to adjust the time. So I'm in step one. You can see the date progressing forward. Pull it out one more step and you can see time going forward. Now you're probably wondering how on earth do I move the Saturday forward? Okay, right now I'm around 2 p.m. So if I keep on progressing to around midnight, there's a couple things you have to know about Orient Watch. Uh, it's an international company, so it requires uh, many times to be in a, in a situation where you need two wheels to have uh, the date and uh, the day in two different languages. So uh, Orient relies on a two pivot system. So once it gets to around 1.15, you'll see it progress halfway, and then around 3.15, it should come back. Now, to take it to Monday, just re repeat the process. Take it to around 11, a, uh, 11 p.m., take it to around 4 a.m., and it'll, and it'll progress forward. Let's take it all the way to Tuesday, and now to Wednesday, Thursday, but you gotta really wait until you see Thursday fully appear. In any situation, if you get into this situation like this, where you're in between days, go ahead and progress the wheel forward until you see the proper date. Now take it all the way back and repeat the process and you'll see that it does indeed pivot twice. Okay. So let me go ahead and take it back to around 1010. It's okay folks, so this is CEVOM001B. Hope to see you in the soon.